We left home this morning and made it to our first state park on the northern Washington coast, Pacific Beach State Park Campgrounds. Looking south towards the lower end of the park, where most of the utility sites are, the Moclips River comes out of the hills around the bend and empties into the Pacific. Then, looking north, we see the upper restrooms and showers, and turning farther, we look up the entry road to the park towards the town of Pacific Beach. Now, let's walk up to the park's registration office. But first, Let's take a walk down this trail to show you how close to the ocean the campsites are. It's a beautiful day, totally out of character for a winter's day on the Washington coast. Last year, when I was on the coast, we had gale winds and driving rains. This weather is a complete surprise and totally unexpected. The skies are blue, the ocean is blue, and there's a breeze carrying the salt air throughout the area. So here's the park information board. Gives you a diagram of Pacific Beach State Park campgrounds. Tells you the cost of the hookups. And it also has these two little cutouts that are updated daily after 10 a.m showing you what campsites are available for the day and what are not, and also a list of first come first serve sites. Uh, however, all those first come first serve sites are all utility, so that's not for me, because I'd have to pay for those campsites whether I use the utilities or not. So, I can stay in my little campsite free until this Saturday when it's been reserved for a couple of days. So then I'll just come up here shortly after 10 a.m. check the new clips to find out what campsites are open and just move to that and fill out a new slip for the day. And here's our spot, our little free spot we're staying at for a couple of days. And on the other side of this berm is the Pacific Ocean. We've got some driftwood out there and odds and ends. And the river, far over there by the bluff that's emptying into the Pacific, is the Moclips River. We'll go explore the park today and maybe walk into the little little town here if you can even call it a town more like a hamlet so we'll do that later today looks like it's going to be pretty nice so we'll find out we'll explore the park the first seven areas here along the berm in front of the ocean are all free if you have your pass, they're non-utility. Then down here, the two with the plug-ins, those are utility, and you'd have to pay $10 a night to use those if you parked in them, whether you use them or not. There's quite some interesting vehicles here tonight. So we're just gonna walk down and check things out. Here's a nice little picnic area with a beautiful view of the beach and the waves. This is just simply a beautiful day today. Couldn't be luckier. So we're gonna continue walking down here to the end of the park, down by the Moclips River where it comes out. If you look closely, you can tell by all this debris on the road down here, that some of the big waves have really washed this stuff apart. Here comes the park ranger. It's good to see the park rangers are up here protecting the area. This area here, you can see the waves and the storms 
have pushed a lot of this debris from the beach over the rocks and into the campsite. So we'll just continue down here. Except for the free non-utility campsites where I'm at, most everything else is utility. Now there are two others down here that are numbered as non-utility sites and the pictures I saw on the website seemed as if they were on the river banks but that's them right there basically two parking lots pull in and park there those are the only two free non-utility campsites down here at this end of the state park everything else as these utilities. As you can see, they've got plenty of power, plug-ins, and they apparently work just right. And for those that are asking, is there a dump station here for RVs? Yes, there is, with potable fresh water. And that's on the way out, of course. So this little park, as sparse as it is, as small as it is, has everything you need to enjoy a pleasant visit to the Pacific coast of Washington. Walking into town, I passed a bed and breakfast place here, right in the outskirts of Pacific Beach State Park. So. If you like bed and breakfasts, this might be a place to check out. So let's go into town, check out what this little place is like. It only had a population of a little over 210 in the last census. There's all kinds of quaint little places, vacation rentals, bed and breakfasts, state parks. I love these communities along the Washington and Oregon coast. They all have a different character to them. Looks like they got the city square over there with a tsunami warning on which way to go. Luckily it's pointed away from the beach. Some local graffiti along the side of the wacky warehouse. Knick-knack shop. You turn down this road here at the gas station to go down to the Pacific Beach State Park. Here we are standing in the little gazebo you saw earlier looking back towards town. I just wanted to add that Pacific Beach does have rentals here for active and retired military that they can apply for and it's right up on the hill here overlooking the ocean. Very nice place if you are active or retired military personnel. Well I'm trying this out with my little mic so we'll see how the wind bothers it. Well we just finished dinner. The sun is set and the dogs are out playing after their dinner meal. Kate's got her tennis ball she's enjoying. Sarah's looking for birds and the low tide is way, way, way out there. Now, those are not people, those are pilings out there in the Moclips River. There's some pretty nice homes out here on the bluff facing the ocean. Must be pretty spectacular when we have some driving winter storms with up to 100 mile an hour winds coming onshore from the ocean. More people have moved in today. I think it's going to be busy during the weekend, but there's still openings. My buddy there from the Puyallup area showed up and surprised me. The girls are enjoying it. We have a couple there from Spokane, newly retired have a four-wheel drive rig that is pretty darn nice. 
Well, it's starting to rain tonight. We're nice and cozy in our little, little knockabout here. The bed's partially made, but we're just relaxing for the evening, getting ready for bed. So we'll wait and see what tomorrow's like when we wake up. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Maybe a little rain, but we'll see. Well, here's a view from the bed, looking forward. Just had some nice coffee. And let me stand up here. Uh, and look out the front door. Hey. <laughs> nice view. People pay a lot of money for this. Ah, peaceful, quiet. Nothing in the city can compare to this. Well, the campground here is filled up a little more. Mostly down farther where all the utility <coughs> places are along the beach. But us that don't need utilities are up here in our own little section away from all those down there, which is fine with me. Kate, what are you doing? Kate wants to play some more. Okay, Kate, you ready? You ready? Okay. We're gonna go play. We'll talk later. Well, it seems this last high tide, as the afternoon clouds and fog move in, must have brought in some good things because suddenly there's seagulls everywhere. Saw a lot of uh, crab carcasses washed in this time. Both uh, shells from the molting and full dead crabs. And it looks like the seagulls are having a great time. Well, I just talked to the uh, park ranger here, and he says this place is filling up this week. Must be good weather forecasting. So, since I just kind of hit and miss, don't make reservations, fly by the seat of my pants, my place is reserved by someone for the next couple days after today also. So, my stay here at this state park might be shorter than I had hoped, so I might be moving on tomorrow if I can't locate another free spot that's up for grabs. So hang in there. You never know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm.